Oh yeah. Hello and welcome to a special episode of SFA Presents. Today, we're going to showcase the film Straw Dolls, a film from one of our Willie P alum. I'm your host, Joel Carasquillo, and with me today is two-time Emmy Award winner, John Milano. Hey, John. Hey, how are you? Good, welcome to SFA Presents. Thank you, it's great to be back at the Alma Mater, yes. the old stomping ground. How does that feel? Oh, it feels great, it feels Fan great. Fantastic. Well, before we roll the first clip of your film, Straw Dolls, tell me a little bit about where you got the inspiration from. What was your main influence for the film? I'm growing up, my best friend was Yervant Kashishin, who's of Armenian descent. Sure. And uh, every, I would spend every uh, Christmas Eve with them. And uh, his, his, his grandmother was a survivor. And oh. she would, it took a while, but she would slowly tell her story. Sure. And this is entirely based off of, of her and the Armenian people's, you know, wow. suffering of the genocide. Right. Well, let's take a look at the first clip of Straw Dolls. Boss, 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 boss. Oh, more well, guns on there, I see. Shot. Boss, thank you, Rans. Well, we're going to shot, boss, thank you, Rans. Yeah. You see this video? Well, thank you, Rans, Dag. You have the guy in art and. God talk to me, you know? Yeah. Is he on me, you know? Stop watching me. Cook a little more. What change? Ins. Ins. Stop betting. Is that a matter, can I? Do I see two thousand two hundred on a party table? Just happy. That was great stuff, John. Great oh, stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me about the location of the film. Obviously, that was a big valley. Where exactly were you filming? So that was Big Sky Movie Ranch in uh, Simi Valley, California. Okay. And uh, that's where Django was shot and nice. Saving Mr. Banks. Um, it's been around for forever. Wow. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it had to have some of its challenges filming on location compared to studios. What kind of difficulties did you and the crew face while filming? Well, uh, I mean, uh, temperatures were high. It's you know, it's it's Southern California, so you're you're dealing with the environment, and um, and it's you know, you're also in the middle of of a valley. Yeah. So you're dealing with bugs and you know, lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that stuff. <laughs> well, how many days did you film on location? 
We were on location for three days and then on uh, soundstage for uh, additional three days, so six oh. days altogether. Yeah, but filming the valley must have been a really good time, right? Oh, it was fun. It was fun. To get, away, to get away and shoot on location is always great. Did you personally like exactly that, just getting away from other locations? What did you personally well, like Well, I mean, uh, w when, you're, when you're shooting and, you're, and, you're, and the responsibility is really on your shoulders, you're constantly under stress. Sure. So it, but it's, it's gr that great feeling when you could say, you know, when you could say roll it and cut, those are those, in between those moments, you're the happiest person. Right. And that's, that's the best part about shooting. Now, before we rolled the first clip, you mentioned that your best friend's grandmother was a survivor of the genocide. Mm -hmm. Now, on the film, were you focusing solely on that moment in history, or were you focusing more on a true story? Well, it's, it's a mixture of both. It's a true story. Sure. It's a mixture of, 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 of telling the story about her and her survival, but it's really about the Armenian people. Okay. And, and that's, that's a focus that the Armenian people have. Is it, it, they, they went and suffered through the genocide as a whole. Right. And if I could tell the story of the Armenian people through through one little slice mm -hmm. of the genocide, then that's, the, I mean, that's the ultimate goal. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's yeah. very interesting stuff, Don. Very interesting stuff. Thank you. We're going to take a short break right now, but when we come back, we'll have another clip and the rest of our interview with John. Don't go away. You're watching SFA Presents. You have a clip from Yeah, them. Yeah, here, here it is. <laughs> they are the best in the business, and they are here to break down this week in sports. Wyatt, we'll start with you. Acting? That was more like, boom. I said it. I like Welcome back. Before we get started with the rest of our interview with Mr. Milano here, I'd like to play you our second clip of his film. Sit! Officers, how are you? We're fine, thank you. And yourself? You are Armenian? No, of course not. My apologies. He's a little eager. I was under the impression that this was an Armenian village. I had no idea there were any Turkish families here. No families. It's just me. I thought most of the Armenians had already gone from here. Did you manage to find many? We found enough. Is this your house? Yes. Uh, may I go in, please? Can I, can I Wait outside for me. Watching the horse. Watching the horse? Why aren't you watching them? Mama in a papa in Vercetti. Mama needs us. I'm sorry about the state of my house. It's just I've been moving. You live here alone? Yes, I uh, I had workers but they moved on. Armenian? No, no, Turkish. We don't have any Turkish families listed in this area. To have missed one, yes, perhaps. But to have missed several? As I said, they moved on. Perhaps. 
Maybe they were Armenians. I thought so. I love that clip. <laughs> that was probably my favorite one overall. And what I love about the film as a whole, John, is that you were giving a lot of information in such a short period of time, and that was told through visual cues, mm -hmm. not really a whole lot of dialogue. So I wanted to know is, and also as well, there is the theme of sacrifice. That was the underlying theme, which I kind of got. Am I right about that? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So why did you make those choices for the film? Well, the start with visual. Um, I mean, this is a medium of visual storytelling. So that has to be your predominant way of, of telling the story. And when you find great production design sure. and a great location, cinematographer who knows what he's doing, and you and you are able to you know build a story around the visuals, that's the that's one of the main goals. Um, as for theme with sacrifice, that's how we wanted to start. Sure, that's from the get go. Sacrifice is is not only a part of the Armenian culture, but it's about this this story, this true story that. Um, it, Lucine, my <clears throat> my friend's grandmother, she was the girl who who lived, wow. and her 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 life was only given to her by sacrifice. Right. So she she was she was able to survive the genocide because someone sacrificed her own life wow. for her. That's heavy stuff. Yeah. Oh man. And what I love about the story as well is the characters. Amazing acting. I loved it. I felt that I was actually witnessing history. Now. I'm assuming that most of the characters and actors were of Armenian descent. Absolutely, yes. How did you go about with casting Armenian actors for the film? Well, we uh, we brought on, you know, one of our goals was to get the most authentic actors we could. Um, so we uh, we got a casting director. Right. And our casting director was able to find a very small uh, group of people, but they are amazing Armenian actors in California and they're, and they're just absolutely fantastic. So, so when we were able to get them, that was the major piece of the puzzle. Right. The rest of it came together after that. Wow, yeah. what was it like working with all those actors overall? Oh, I mean, it's, you have your challenges regardless because <laughs> they're actors. Sure. Um, but uh, I mean, I, I, I'm very close with uh, a lot of them. And the, yeah. those young girls, I, was, I, had never, I had never directed children before and they were the easiest to work with. And they really? were, and they came, they came to bat um, you know, 100% every time, and they knew their lines, and right. they and they took direction really well. It's it's kind of uh, ironic that the wow. children be easier to work with. That's awesome. Yeah. So then let's talk a little bit about the first clip a little bit. When I was yeah. watching it, what came to my mind was one of my favorite movies of all time, Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. Did fantastic you ever film. did you ever get that comparison between? I that? get it. I get it. I get it a lot. Um, but it, it comes down to, it. You know, there, there's. I'm not right, rewriting history, neither did Tarantino. Right. Well, he did with Inglorious Bastards, but not with that scene. And that scene is de a depiction of how genocides are uh, conducted and orchestrated. Sure. This, is, this, is, this is how they went home to home and rounded up these, these poor innocent people right. and, and marched them to the desert or to uh, you know, concentration camps in the case mm -hmm. of the Holocaust. So, I mean, that's, that's, that is what happened. And we were both able to tell that story. Mr. Tarantino and myself, neither, neither of us uh, have anything in common besides that. But, um, but yeah, that, that's, that is how a genocide is conducted. Okay. Now, this film came out exactly last year to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of the Armenian genocide. What's next for you, John? Do you have any upcoming films? Oh, uh, well, uh, to, to be honest with you, I just, just wrapped up Straddles. Oh, so this okay. this has been a, a two year endeavor uh, on the post production side. Okay, uh, but next, actually, I'm jumping over to uh, what really strikes me, and that is uh, children's stories uh -huh. and children's movies and television such as that. So that's that's the next endeavor for me. Fantastic! I can't wait for that. Thank well, you. that's all the time we have for today. As always, thanks to our crew and studio manager Al Clark. This has been SFA Presents. That was awesome. That was awesome. awesome.